that didn't make sense. Hello, and I'm Thomas from the Mockingbird Gamers. I'm also known as Chinny, and I'm here with a tutorial. Now, this tutorial is on Sony Vegas Pro 10, not 11 and not 9. This is to get great results with the audio or visual file, even if it's just audio or visual, and to get good sound and video quality as well as keeping a small file size because the basic file sizes are very small. Now, first of all, you want to get to the preview. And in our videos, we used the bird, and this shows the preview of the bird. Now, what you want to do when you're on the preview page and you see your icon or part of your video, no matter where you click, it might be a different scene if you're doing like a Minecraft Let's Play. First of all, you want to go here, and this is Project Video Properties or Alt and Enter for me. This is a short key. Well, okay, so first of all, what you want to do is the template. Now, this can be changed. I haven't changed this because I just used it my last video just quite simply um, now normally I will use I think I'll stick with this one HD the 720 30p this is because I like we don't do full screen because it doesn't really work for Bandicam and it sort of messes up a bit um, and the 1080p I could use but I will be rendering in 720p as because most people don't render in 20, 1080p because it's just not not worth it it takes too long and it's just hassle okay so first of all what you want to do is find the width for the length if you're not using like this kind of template you can put in your what uh, like the width and the height of the video will be now field order we want none so progressive scan hue aspect ratio we want 1.0 which is square this is like a square obviously but we don't want the PAL or anything because they are not re reliable. Output rotation, you want zero, or else you want it unless you want it flipped 90 degrees if you're weird and wonderful like that. Uh, the frame rate. Now, uh, people sometimes obviously just type in 30 frames, but you want to get this NTSC, which is just the normal standard video rate. Now you can get these, but I wouldn't recommend at all. Uh, and the oh film is 24 frames. That's why they're so long. Then, <laughs> okay, so you don't want to mess with the 3D mode unless you want to make it 3D, uh, which I doubt. Uh, the pixel format now you want full range. There's eight, and then you have video levels and full range. You want full range. The compositing gamma you want 1.0 because no matter what it says about this, you just don't want to mess with it because it can affect your videos quite badly. Full resolution rendering quality, you want the best, because obviously you want the best videos. Uh, motion blur type, you want Gaussian, I can't pronounce that. You don't want the isometric ones, because they fiddle around, but you want uh, just to keep it like this. Now the, I can't say that word, didn't clear it method, you just want it to blend fields. Just keep it like that, okay? Now, the audio, you want it like this, you want it stereo, because you don't want it. No one's going to plug a 5.1 surround sound speaker just into their laptop. They're going to have it into a TV. So ignore that. You'll keep it on stereo. Sample rate. This is just on your sample, so don't really worry about it. Bit depth, you want about 16. And you want this to be good because you don't want it best. Now, all of these, the ruler, summary, and audio CD, you don't need to worry about because they don't do anything. They don't affect this at all. So I'm going to apply them, and I'm going to do it. So, <coughs> sorry about that. This video is 3 minutes 33 seconds, or something like that. I can't remember the exact time, but I think it's around that. So what next, what you want to do is you want to go to File, and first of all, you want to Save As. Now I'm saving it as the intro, and I've created a nice folder for all of this. Okay, so I'll save it like that. And remember to save it as a VEG file, or Vegas Pro project file, because... When, if you want to load it up again, you may want to, if like a video becomes corrupt or something. Just keep it like this so you can open it back up in uh, Sony Vegas Pro 10. Okay, so save it. Yes, I know it already exists. So next we go File, Render As, and I have obviously saved my render settings. Now, if you are like this and you have loads and millions of stuff, go to the top, scroll to the top, and it's the one... I don't mind. It's main concept AVC slash AAC. Now this is an MP4 file, the ideal for uploading to YouTube. Uh, this is just a great file because it's got great audio and visual. So we click down here, and what you want to do is normally when you do it, it will say internet 
720p. Now, this is what you will customize this bit here. So I've already made it, but I'll show you what mine is, and you can just copy it. So you, I've renamed it to YouTube 720p. Now the notes you don't really need to worry about. That's just telling you what it is. Okay, so you want to click this box. Click this box because this includes the video. Now the frame size, if you're going to have it 720p, yes. 1080p is right there. So if it doesn't matter which one, just use it. Um, the profile needs to be baseline because this, uh, this isn't. You don't want it high because then it can uh, mess the audio up. Now with the frame rate you want, you see how it's here, the NTSC, instead of this you want the frame rate as this, like because you want it to run at exactly like 29.97 frames, so just add the extra O's in just to make sure this is true. Um, allow source to adjust frame rate, just click that. Field order, now you want none, it's a pro progressive scan, leave that. Pixel aspect ratio, you want one. Because if you have three, it can mess up the video sometimes. Number of reference frames, one. Just keep it there. Now, variable bit t rate, you want the maximum as 14 million, and then the average, 14 million. This normally uh, shows how many pixels, or well, not pixels, but how many, like, how detailed the picture is. So we tend to keep it quite detailed, but then not, like, super blurry. Uh, so in code mode, automatic. Uh, present, yeah, just keep that there. Audio, this is the next bit. First of all, click this, or else it will not include audio. Sample rate, HZ, you want to keep 48,000. <coughs> Sorry guys, just got a cough. Now the bit rate, or beats per minute, you want to keep at 128,000. This is just to keep it safe and running at a normal speed. Um, now, the system, check GPU, don't bother, it doesn't do anything. Now the project, video rendering quality, just keep it as use project setting, because if you set it like that, it will reset the whole thing. And 3D mode, if you use the 3D, uh, this is not really the like explanation to do it, this is not the video for 3D. I might release one, depends if I do. Uh, so this is basically it, now I am going to render this 3 and a half minute video. So now we are rendering it, and just to make sure, Make sure to highlight across the whole thing, which I did not do and pause and then it done very quickly. So remember to do that. I just forgot that. And I'm deeply sorry for not telling you that. If it does mess up, just highlight it. It will just give you a rendering and it will just do nothing basically. So I will see you guys in a minute. Now we are back. It hasn't not finished, but I need to tell you something that is vastly important. Uh, for the next bit, you see this box just here. Close this dialog box when rendering complete. Make sure this is unticked because the next part of the video, uh, you don't want this unticked because what happens is it makes it hard to find the file. So, so what will happen afterwards is the video will be complete, and this will obviously this depends on your processor to see how fast it goes and see how long it takes. Uh, so obviously worse processors may take it longer to process a video because this is what processor is used for RAM does not matter so if you are thinking like you've got a crap processor but all the RAM in the world it won't do anything because it's the complete processor that's processing the video so yeah won't help at all um, now with the video it will be a short small file which I will show you in three two five four three two one done go hurry up finish yes okay it's finished so what you want to do is you want to find the folder you can either look through all your stuff like um, your like personal folder or you can just click open folder now what you're gonna do here is this is my original file uh, not the original file the one I rendered to put up to YouTube which was that no same settings because it's right there just different name as you can tell because I put one in it because it wouldn't let me put, I don't know why just don't ask me now as you see it's 1280 by 720 which is 720p uh, in high definition now as you can see this is three and a half minute video and the size is 12 megabytes but if you think about it a 15 minute video would then be 60 megabytes which is very small to upload to YouTube and obviously half an hour would be 120 megabytes 
Now, people, this is the same for everything. It's not just because Im it's different. Sorry, it's different because what happens is this is a still image, but I'm sure if you had a moving graphic, which could be something like a game or something and you're commentating over it, obviously the size will be bigger because it's a ren it's a moving image and you have to render all the frames. This is just one complete frame. So, but with it here, 12.1 meg. Now, people that pay for stupid upload speeds of Virgin Game and Virgin, like that pay £50 a month, you don't need it. This shows you do not need it, you just need the right settings. But a lot of people are quite lazy, so they buy this like amazing render settings like KSI and Syndicate. Like when Syndicate was out in like some, uh, it was a while back, and what happened is he was in a, um, he was in a hotel, and the hotel had really bad upload speeds, so he had about three hours wait, and he just rendered the video in YouTube t like 720, which is like the basic one as we've seen earlier and like KSI had that problem as well it's just because this is quite a good way and I think it's just something to look at before you go out because if you do videos then it's really what happens if you're stuck there for like three hours uploading it's just not worth it you might as well just get good render settings so I will see you another time and I hope you enjoyed this video hope it gave you a lot of information please subscribe for new tutorials information and a few games we are doing games such as Minecraft, uh, obviously because it's amazing. We are doing Minecraft. We might do a bit of trying to because that's quite a nice 2.5D scroller. We might do other 2.5D scrollers and we might do other games. So I hope you check us out. Please like this video uh, as it helps. And please share this video about because obviously we want to get known in the YouTube community. And I think this will help you forever. So please enjoy and favourite the video so you don't lose it if you want to show it your friends. So bye bye and I hope you enjoyed this video.